Terry's tips. <laughs> Not going to be on Master Chefs anytime soon. I'm going to take you through a day of eating in the Terry household. So meal one is normally oats, but today I fancy eggs. So we're going to go two slices of toast, granary bread or wholemeal bread. Uh, this is 18 grams of carbs per slice. So it's not too bad, is it? Just under 40, 36 grams of carbs. And we're gonna go four whole eggs. I know people talk about like egg whites and egg yolks. I just have four whole eggs. I'm just not one for wasting food. Um, and what, six grams of protein per egg on a medium egg. So what's that? Six, 12, 18, 24 grams of protein. Around 20 grams of fat, it's just under. So say 19 grams of fat. So that's a good, nice, balanced breakfast or meal. And then I'll let you watch me eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it's personal preference over having scrambled, fried. Obviously fried, you're adding a bit of oil to it, but I just love poached eggs. So you can put vinegar in, which makes it coagulate. Together makes the egg coagulate and keep it all together, but I just prefer to do it on its own. And if you want to add stuff to it, if you want to add more calories to it, the best way of that is having avocado on it, smashed avocado. So we're going to bring the water to the boil. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I'm not going to be on Master Chefs anytime soon. I'm not going to lie, I'm wounded. Three out of four. That one burst. Yeah. Do you put any butter on your toast? No, I'm a... Uh, thing is, if you get the yolks running, which I think I've overcooked it, so I'm going to say I haven't, but you don't need butter. That's, that's my take on it all. It's not going to look the best, I must admit. <laughs> all goes down the same hole. <laughs> We're going to put rough macros on, just so, like as a disclaimer, just in case <laughs> someone so wants to like, pull us up on a gram of fat or something. There's actually 14 yeah, grams in the egg. Exactly. You always get that person. You know who you are. <laughs> and then, to finish it off, it's all about salt. Think of your own salt. Meal one. At the present, I'm having five meals. But I'm gonna let you in a little thing. I found all my old diets from over the years. I've kept all my diets from 2000 and 13, I think, oh, 2000, yeah, 2013 when I first started competing in bodybuilding. I kept all my diets and I've been looking over them and I can't believe, like, I don't take nowhere near as much food as I used to and I, I thought I was eating more but just over the years I've obviously adapted my, my food and realised I'm actually not taking as much so back in 2013 I was on seven meals, good solid seven meals. Five of them were high carbs, two were low carbs or no carbs but I'm only having five meals now, so I'm gonna try and gradually get back up to the seven. So we're gonna see five or six today, maybe. That's, that's broke, okay, okay, quick. That's what you wanna see. Oh, yeah. Perfection, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> At least three of these today, which is 1.5, so it'll be four and a half liters. Right, so we're going to go straight into my uh, USN supplement order. Um, kept it quite basic. I, I don't really go too far off of what um, I've always had. But I'm going to show you. So we've got the muscle fuel anabolic. So this is a lean all-in-one uh, muscle gainer. So you can take this first thing in the morning and post-workout. So they say no more than two shakes a day. Um, it's got carbs, it's got creatine, it's got test boosters, it's got protein, everything all in one, um, but it's not classed as a mass gainer, so the calories aren't ridiculously high, it's like a, a mid-level one, so if ever I'm trying to gain weight or if I'm feeling a bit lazy and I, I can't be bothered to take supplements separately, it's quite a good all-in-one uh, solution to that. Um, one thing I have noticed and the people talk about is can they replace meals with this? I would always go for solid food over supplements or shakes and drinks. But if you're not going to be able to get to a solid meal and you've got this to hand, then take it all day long. Um, something is better than nothing. Um, and some people, because of the amount of 
calories in it would class it as a meal anyway so um, me personally I wouldn't but you can do with this product creatine anabolic so this has been <laughs> around probably as long as I've been with USN so uh, and that product that's been improved and that also but 10 years um, I've been on and off with these products so the creatine anabolic um, that's like an all-in-one creatine anabolic. So it's got ethyl ester in there, it's got monohydrate. It's got 46 grams of carbs. Um, so I take it intra to post-workout. So it's, it's a weird time for me to take it. Most people take it post-workout, but I take it intra because of the carbs in it. And it helps with um, reducing fatigue and helping with my endurance whilst I'm training. Um, so yeah, that's always been a staple, especially when I'm on my, on my, on my, on my, on my off season. <laughs> So we've got the BCA EAAs. Um, I've always taken BCAAs since I've started with USN, since I've known about supplementation, all that kind of stuff. Um, obviously, studies over the last few years have, have proven now that EAAs are just as important because we didn't used to do all, all nine aminos. It always just used to be the three BCAAs, the isoline, valine, and leucine. Whereas now they're saying EAAs are, are quite beneficial, so all nine aminos. So this is a product that has all of them in got no carbs and you can take it pre and intra so that's kind of when i take it ideal for when you're dieting as well next product blue lab way craig loves this product we've talked about this quite a lot haven't we <laughs> <laughs> go on then tell us about it craig it's a way isolate a way concentrate and a way and a hydrolysis. hydrolysis so yeah it's a blend of the three so it's the three fastest like purest forms of protein so it's great or it's ideal first thing in the morning post-workout or any time of the day really um, it's very low in sugar it's like 1.2 grams is it per serving something like that so it's very low um, and it's 26 grams of protein per serving so it's a good ratio that you can take it before bed because of it being low carbs it's not really going to affect anything in that respect and it's ideal for men and women um, so yeah there's something and it tastes class Finally, we've got Trust Crunch Bars. Um, these, I, I think they're great to have around the house um, and for convenience if you haven't, if you're hungry or you're craving something and you don't want to go for a bad source of like chocolate, like a Mars bar or a Snickers or anything like that. So I think these are a great way, thing to have around the house when you've got that urge. Obviously when I'm dieting, I tend to not even have them in the house, unless Amy wants them, but I tend to just get them out of the way and, and not really, think of alternatives to sugar, I just don't have it. But then when you're on your off season, you're trying to just put it into everyday living. I would always try and go for something like this rather than just pure chocolate. So uh, it's 1.7 grams of sugar per bar and it's 20 grams of protein. So the ratio is quite good on that. Uh, I've not tried the cooks and cream either yet. So looking forward to trying them. Meal two, which is normally my meal one, as we call it breakfast two. And we're going for a full banana, which I think is around 80 grams. Let's see, 70. We'll do 70 grams oats then as well. Might as well. <laughs> we're off season, so it's, it doesn't really matter too much. When we're on season, it has to be precise, but we're then gonna fill this with water, like so. And then we're gonna fling it in the microwave. Don't overcook them and get them too hot before you put the uh, whey protein in. So what I tend to do, that's a good shout actually. Two minutes exactly. If you've got 100 grams of oats, decent amount of water in it, two minutes is perfect on 900 watts. It's, it comes out boiling, but obviously if you've got your blueberries in there or your bananas, it melts it and then you put a little bit of cold water in and let it come to like, not room temperature, but let it cool down before you put your protein in. Because if you put it in too warm, it one, degenerates the protein, and two, it makes it all bitty. Have you ever had it where you've overcooked mm. protein? That's when you've just lost it. So you've got to make sure it's not too hot before you put the uh, mm. protein in. Terry's tips. <laughs> yeah, so I've always used water because um, when I'm on prep, it's just added calories for almond milk and soy milk or anything like that. But it's something I've never really attempted to use on my off season, which is probably cool, I bet it tastes quite nice. When I'm dieting, oats is my favourite meal of the day. And it, I think most bodybuilders would probably say that because it's like a sweet thing, isn't it? Mm. So, um, yeah, I just try and stick to it the same all year. But 
if you want to add that to it, do that. I have peanut butter next, which I'll show you. It's like one tablespoon, which is around 20 grams, and that's like 10 grams of fat. But I would typically, when I'm dieting, go for flaked almonds um, or walnuts. You could put walnuts in, but I would go for those two rather than peanut butter. Just small changes. Raisins, I love raisins. Um, I would have them on my off season, but when I start dieting, I would swap them out for uh, blueberries or raspberries or anything from the berry family. See what I mean? Look, the steam coming off. Too hot to put protein in that, so we're going to cool it down slightly. Peanut butter. Nearly out. Muscle food plug. What code is it, Craig? Ryan. Capital R. Capital, capital R. Y, yeah. capital A. Capital N. <laughs> One small <laughs> tablespoon. Then I'm going to go one and a half scoops. One. That's around 40 grams of protein there, which is ample for me. I'm only meant to week. There you have it, meal two. Perfect way to cook oats. Right, so I've just finished meal two, which was my oats. Um, I spaced my meals out around two and a half to three hours, um, depending on what time I'm training, things like that. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try and increase the meals up to seven meals, so that is gonna reduce, obviously, to get the meals in. So it's probably gonna go down to two hours, uh, but at present, two and a half to three hours. Post-workout shake, um, Blue Lab Way. 40 grams of protein and then 50 grams of tricarbs. I would have put 100 in, but I ran out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll get a banana when I get home or something. Meal three. So we've got 200 gram turkey breast, which is around 60 grams of protein. We've got 125 grams of rice, which looks quite pitiful there, um, I could probably do with some more, which is around 40 grams of carbs, roughly, and I've just got some baby corn and uh, asparagus, so nice and simple, I've got some mushrooms, onions to flavour it up, let's do this. This one is shit, <laughs> alright? Don't, don't be messing up my system, pal. Got two recycling, one non. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good man. Ooh, lovely. That's Himalayan salt again. <laughs> then we've got tomato and herb seasoning, and it's macro friendly seasoning, which means there's no sugar, no salt, all that kind of stuff in it. Obviously, I've added salt there, but just a, a light sprinkle. 12 minutes grilled at 160. Perfect. Crispy on the outside, cooked on the inside. So we've got 200 grams of sweet potato, um, green beans, and then salmon should be ready now. Oh, yes. Boom. They have meal four. So it all depends on what time I train, my work schedule. Um, when I'm off season, that's it, that everything evolves around work and obligations and stuff. Whereas when I'm competing, it's the opposite way around. Work evolves around my food and training. So that's the general sense. When you're in prep, food comes first. Everything that has to be first. But obviously you can't do that 365 days a year and you need to have that balance so um, this will be still of an evening as you can see sweet potato is a slow releasing low gi carb you've got salmon which is also slow releasing and high in fat so this meal would generally be better consumed at night um, so i would have that all towards the evening time right so we're on to meal five of the day um, this isn't going to be my last meal, I'm going to try and get another meal in. We're about 8 o'clock in the evening, so I should be able to get another meal in. But we've got 180 grams turkey steak, <laughs> we've 
We've got, I don't actually know how much pasta, how much pasta do you give me? <laughs> I'd say, by doing it by hand, I'd say probably like 300 grams of pasta. Um, we've got sweet corn in this, we've got peppers, onions, mushrooms, tin tomatoes, paprika, salt, anything else? Garlic. Garlic. Obviously, I haven't cooked this today. Amy's cooked this for my <laughs> beautiful wife. Wow, very nice. Uh, and then I'm having a Pepsi Max. I, I normally have one of these a day. Still on with my water. Um, I will be aiming for, I'm still on for like four and a half litres today, so not bad. Rocky's not happy. What's one? He wants them. Um, what one? Don't you? Oh. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. I'll check in with you on the next meal or the last meal. Right guys, so this is meal six and this is the final meal of the day. Um, as you can see, I've had a shower and I'm ready for bed. Uh, just watching a bit of TV and I'm fancying something sweet. So typically I would normally have steak and veg or salmon and veg, something like that, no carb. But one more off season, so it doesn't really matter what I'm consuming at this stage. And two, I want something sweet. So I've gone for, Almond milk with uh, ice in there. Got one banana. We've got two scoops of the whey teller, which is like a Nutella flavor protein. And then we've got a scoop of peanut butter for the crunch. I like a bit of crunch. Um, and yeah, it's a good clean version or alternative for me eating crap before going to bed. Get a good healthy uh, spoonful of peanut butter. Go for a full banana. And two scoops. This is giving me about 50 grams of protein. Strain the Nutribullet. As easy as that. If we can get the lid off. Cheers guys. Perfect. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching me eat all day. Um, I have had requests for this video, so it's not just a random video of me thinking you'll enjoy my um, me eating, but I just thought I'd give you an insight how I adapt my nutrition on and off um, my, my prep or my diet. Um, again, it's still clean. I'm just not as regimented and um, calorie counting whilst I'm in this stage of, of um, maintenance. What's Rocky crying in the back door, he wants to go out. Um, but yeah, I hope you can take something from it and um, please comment below, uh, subscribe to the channel um, and yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.